Champions is about being a champion. It's about being great at our game. It is about hitting that one tap from across the map and getting the odds in your team's favor. It's like the most Valorant skin you could ever make. For the premium content team, they think about ultimately what is the feeling they're trying to capture. So the theme last year was the art of greatness and being a champion. What if like the, the skin reacts to kills? We actually had this really cool reference of like fingernail paint that looked a little bit refractive and there were like triangles in it and all that kind of stuff. And so we took that idea and we said, let's take this gun and basically transform it into this like crystalline structure that every so often, every five kills, you basically get that crystal pop in. And so that the gun itself is just amping itself up every single time you go through that, that kill effect. We wanted to do it last year, we couldn't do it just because the tech wasn't ready. And I think that was like something that really sets this apart this year is that players are gonna look at it and be like, oh, it's not just a texture change, it's like a completely different experience visually. I was listening to music while I was working for like two weeks on loop. It inspired me to use one of the scenes from the music video where Everybody's just like running towards that one goal, which you don't know what it is until you reach it. It's about like overcoming the obstacles to, to be the best. The finisher this year is in a way similar, although the red is more dominant. We still have a spark, the, the logo for VCT. The one thing we also changed is when you enter the post-process world, the enemy tried to get to there, but it can't. That's why it's like frozen in time here. And when you get to that point, it actually shows you the trophy, the one that we physically make for the champions, because you are the best. The butterfly knife starts off as a just regular knife, then as you upgrade it, it adds a few additional features, which include cool gold swipes. Uh, as you get more kills, there is a little effect that fills out this like, red crystal from 5, 10, 15, 25. Oh my God, I can't count. That's it, no, uh, you got it, math. Did <laughs> five, every five kills to 25, it fills out. When you were a top frag, uh, you have a gold outline. This is called the Champion's Aura. Along with the 25 kills, you get a special inspect on your knife. So if you have the most kills and you've gotten the gun to fully transform, how else do we reward you by separating you from everybody else? When you inspect the knife, we actually have you take out the Champion's Trophy, showing that like you've achieved this and nobody else can have that. In our game, we don't have a button to run, we have a button to walk, but if you just like change from normal uh, moving into inspect, it feels like you're running faster. So you can like inspect your gun while, you know, running if you want to. A little bit different than last year where we put the gun in front of you to look at it from the side. It takes a little bit more space on the screen. So this year we wanted to uh, still show the gun and then we move into this like looping animation where you can see the spark glowing depending on the music. There was a little bit of back and forth of, you know, oh, how much would that beat of music last or how much should it loop for? And eventually we're just gonna loop infinitely. So over here in this side of the screen is a visual representation of every beat that was created for the skin line. So it's uh, mashed by hand, you know, headphones on, really trying to nail each beat of the music when it goes up, when it goes down, trying to balance it out. So that was very fun. It is the champions and you need to feel like a champion while you're carrying the weapon. So even though the animation is not big and flashy, it does sort of support the fantasy that we're trying to bring the players. What I love most about this skin is actually the audio. We worked very closely with our design team to get something that would feel different, but also not be distracting or just feel tonally off. And it actually incorporates something from the music video.
Always fun to be able to incorporate music into the Valorant universe. After I kind of became familiar with all of these individual elements, I went down and started kind of clipping out little bits that I thought were cool, kind of building combinations of elements. So my first thought would be like, ooh, that synth sound kind of has like an interesting little sine wave, like pew, pew, pew in it. Maybe I can use that to incorporate into the firing sound. That's the bass sound. The kill banner has one of the most satisfying sounds, and especially when you hear it kill one, two, three, four, five finisher, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I'm gonna be bold when I say this, best kill banner, even better than the Reaver one. People want to feel like these weapons are satisfying. The sound is part of that satisfying experience for players. I think that the champion skin line is really about expertise. I don't want a player to look at this and be like, oh man, I'm never going to get 25 kills. Like, it should be the opposite. It should be aspirational. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get 25 kills and be the champion. The whole point of this is for it to feel special. Our entire game is about these clutch moments, those impossible feats that you achieve, and this skin captures that.